Good morning, physics. We are continuing with waves. I want to talk about when waves travel, when more than one wave is at the same position. Um, waves add together, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So here are two waves that have been produced on a string. But fundamentally, this could be two waves, any type of wave, um, when they cross through each other, watch what happens. Notice how one has a positive amplitude and one has a negative amplitude. Watch what happens when they're right on top of each other. And actually these are gonna end up both having positive. So just before they hit, they both have a positive amplitude. Now notice how tall um, the wave is at this point. And we're gonna use this one right here. So right now the waves are roughly about a, uh, an inch, or excuse me, a centimeter, roughly a centimeter. Now watch what happens when they're right on top of each other. Their two heights add together. And, and then they just keep on going. So that's when they add together like that and they become taller, we call that constructive interference when the two waves hit each other um, and they are one as a positive and a negative amplitude and let's reset this for just a moment there so i'm going to give this one oops that's a little bit too much i want to slow that down let's try that again we'll go low tension we're going to give um, a positive amplitude and a negative amplitude. So these two waves, oh dang it, that's not what I wanted. Okay, there's constructive interference as well. When they could, when they get taller, when the two heights are on the same side and they get taller, we call that constructive interference. If we were to have a wave, here we go. Uh, these two waves here now, uh, one has a positive um, amplitude, one has a negative amplitude. You can see the negative is just a little taller than the positive. And watch what happens when they're right on top of each other. And when they're right on top of each other, we call that superposition. So you can see that the resulting wave when they're right on top of each other is slightly negative that's because the negative was a little bit more than the positive and we call this destructive interference so when the resulting wave is shorter we call it destructive so here we go boom and so here we can see these two are going to destruct and oops i went a little too fast there these are going to destruct here this, these two right here destructive so right now they're right on top oh excuse me they're going to add together that was constructive interference yeah okay so you get the idea hopefully you understand uh, amplitude is the height or distance from uh, the center line the line of reference that's their amplitude it could be negative or positive when waves get together at the same spot we call that superposition meaning that they're right on top of each other and um, sometimes they constructively interfere and sometimes they destructively interfere so let's transfer that to a concept builder uh, you're going to be asked to go to wave interference which i'll provide a link and let me show you how to do these concept builders so please make sure you put your name and hour i think a few of you may have forgot to do that uh, right here boom mr franz and hour i'm not sure because i teach all of them and let's try this one. So this one, um, wave one and wave two are moving through the same medium and undergo interference. They have different wavelengths, frequencies, and amplitudes for the five labeled points. We categorize each as being locations where either constructive or destructive interference occurs. So tap on the buttons below to categorize uh, A or E as being constructive or destructive. So here I can see that red is going to subtract from the blue, and that A is going to be con is going to be destructive. Um, here at B, the red is negative, and so is the blue negative. So those are going to actually add together, and that's going to be constructive interference. 
at at C, uh, C position C right here, they're both positive, so they will add together to a taller wave. So that's constructive. D is, uh, they're both positive, so again, that's going to be constructive. And then E is one is positive and one is negative. They're going to subtract from each other. That's destructive interference. So it's A, E. And hopefully that is correct. Let's take a look. Oh, good, yeah. All right, let's check another one here. So same idea. I'm going to go back to the main menu here. And the next one is called the principle of superposition. And here, um, wave one and wave two are undergoing interference. So this is when two waves, again, are traveling through each other. The displacement of the medium, and the word medium refers to the material that the wave travels through. So if you're speaking, air would be the medium. The wave travels through air. If you were underneath the water and you bang two rocks together, the sound would travel through the water. The water would be the medium. Um, if you were to walk across the floor and you can kind of feel the vibrations then the floor is the, vi uh, is the medium that's letting your wave travel through it. So the displacement of the medium at each location depends on the individual displacements of the two waves at the location. For the three labeled locations, determine the nearest estimate. Determine the nearest estimate. Um, of the resulting displacement of the medium for each square uh, each small square is 0.1 meters or a tenth of a meter along the edge so i can see at a it has the blue as a height of one square which is 0.1 and the red has a height it looks like of three squares it'd be 0.3 so 0.3 and 0.1 would add up to 0.4 and then you just go down the line here here's a negative one for the blue and a positive five and that's going to be a positive four and i think you get the gist here's a negative five and a positive one that should be negative four Point four, and we should be good. Remember, if you if you do need help, ever you can always click the help me button. Go right there, and then the last one. Finally, going back to the main menu here is the sum it up. So what this particular one says here here's two waves undergoing interference. So the blue wave, you got to picture this blue wave as this like these humps would be going up and down. But you're not going to see them because you also, in the same material, you have a wave going the other direction. And um, that would be kind of like, let me click back to this here. Um, that would be kind of like this. Restart this, get rid of the damping tensions down most of all. It'd be kind of like this if I went up and down like this so there is one full wave right and i'm going to then put a little bit smaller wave it's got a smaller amplitude and let's go normal for a moment i'll go slow mo again so you can see these two waves traveling and they're going to travel right through each other. Now they're always going to add together where when they're in the same position. The point I'm trying to make is when they're right on top of each other, you don't see this wave and this wave. You see the combined effect of both of those waves. So in this concept builder, what you're trying to do is you're trying to say, hey, if these two waves are traveling through each other, what is the resulting wave going to look like? So you're going to drag this gray circle with a plus sign on it right there this is going to be the height so the height of these two waves together this is about two and a half the red is negative one and a half if you add those together i believe it's a one and here is negative two for the red and positive four so that's going to be positive two for the blue so again this is where you're going to see the actual wave you will not see the blue and red individually. I know I've said that a couple times, but I just want to be really clear about that. I think that would be right about there. Here's two zeros that would add up to zero. Here is one and a half and negative two and a half. I think that'd be negative one. 
near is negative four and positive two, it'd be negative two. Here's one and a half and three, so it'd be negative one and a half. Here's zero and zero, boom. And you can see it puts a purple wave. So you would actually see if this was a string with a blue wave going one direction and a red wave going the other direction, you would actually see the purple. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense, but again, this is called superposition. When the waves are at the same position, we just add their two heights together, and that's what you will actually see is the purple. And very good. I got it. Okay, um, there you go. So please go and complete that concept builder. If you have any questions, give me a call. When you're done, please take a screenshot so that I can see the... Um, I want to be able to see the time on your computer here. So, all right. Thank you and have a great day. Contact me if you need any help.